Says my spice limit. Pablano pepper. Flamey hot Cheetos. Hot one slash dab. What the actual f are you making? That actually looks like you're pouring human sh on those takis. Why the f are you stuffing takis in a papalno pepper or whatever the f you just said in the first place? Alright, Monkami, welcome back. Today I'm trying something new Spice Kings. This is a new TikTok trend where essentially these crazy ass people sit down and combine every spicy food combination you can think of, eat them for a minute straight, and go, ah! No reaction. Today we have Spice Z, a YouTuber with 4 million subscribers who is pretty much the king of spicy videos, who self-proclaimed makes spicy videos. Out of all the spicy YouTubers and TikTokers I've looked at, this is by far the worst I've seen. Chili powder? Oh yeah! Frozen tahin? What the f*** is frozen tahine? Listening to this guy's accent, he clearly isn't American or any place that I know of. So wherever this guy is in the world, he must have some crazy sh because I've never heard of that in my entire life. I should probably preface this video by saying I'm an absolute p when it comes to spicy food. I'll be honest here. I won't even deny that. I absolutely hate spicy things with a burning passion. Even if something is mild, my mouth for some reason just completely rejects it. I don't understand it, so I just stay away from it. What the f*** did I just watch? If I, for whatever godforsaken reason, decide to eat something along those lines, you would see the end of the Monk Productions channel and probably my life. If this guy isn't in the toilet for the next month, then his body is built different. Hey, Hector! Last nice chance to look at me, Hector. What the f*** have I just stumbled upon? Why the f*** is this guy eating paper? This guy has talked about in the past how he only makes happy videos, quote unquote, and he doesn't understand why people make fun of him in his videos. I did nothing wrong, I'm just making happy content. Well, Spicy, this might be your answer. I don't think any normal human scrolling through their YouTube shorts feed could watch a video like this, where you cover paper in hot sauce and sit there eating it and think nothing of it. When you do stupid shit on the internet, people are gonna react to it in stupid ways. Which is exactly why I'm making this video on you right now. Ducky grips. Lemon juice. No reaction. Okay, this is now getting disturbing. We're only on the very first video, but I'm telling you, this shit is only gonna get worse. This was probably the most tame video I found on this guy's entire channel, which might I add has over 200 videos on it. Spicy ramen. Red takis. Tabasco. Two X spicy sauce. Daddy, chill. Okay, I was gonna let this video play out for a little bit longer, but what the f did I just hear? Daddy, chill? Spicy, I think you're the last person to be telling people, let alone your daddy, to chill. Your job is to sit your ass on camera and eat a ton of spicy random sh**. Also, why did you say daddy, chill in the first place? Nothing happened. There was no reason for that. Satan's extract. Oh no! Okay, well now this guy's having voices in his head. Honestly, even though this is only the second video we're watching today, I'm really not fucking surprised that this guy is already going insane. Telling himself not to put too much in, even though he literally continued to put more in. Wasabi? Carolina Reaper powder? <coughs> Hot ones last dab? Mix! I want to know what the f*** this guy's plumbing and water bill is looking like. If I, for whatever random chance, were walking down the streets of America and I really needed to take a sh** really badly and there were no public toilets around and somehow, some way, the only way I could use the toilet is if I went knocking door to door on random strangers' houses and begging them to let me sh** in their toilets. If I knocked on someone's door and saw this f***ing dude opening the door, I would run 30 miles in the other direction. There is no way this guy has a healthy bathroom filming these f***ing degenerate videos every single day. Or a healthy healthy stomach for that matter. I can honestly compare this type of content to that of Nikocado Avocado. I know that obviously this guy isn't the size of Nikocado Avocado and he doesn't eat insane amounts of food like him, but eating all this spicy sh** all the time cannot be good for your health, whether you have no reaction or not. It's not even spicy! Last spoon! Okay, buddy, can we fucking stop with you opening your disgusting mouth every time you finish eating? I'm not even making fun of this guy's appearance, YouTube. I'm just pointing out that this guy can at least show some decent table manners. You know how I was talking about this guy being comparable to Nikocado Avocado? Well, now that makes even more sense by looking at this guy's mouth. It looks like he just went down on Nikocado's rear end. Habanero? 
Carolina Reaper corn nut. Mm. Excuse me, spicy. What the f***? If this isn't enough proof that this guy needs to stop making this content, then I don't know what does. The fact that this dude has the audacity to sit down on camera complaining about other people making hate videos on him while he makes this kind of content is f***ing unreal to me. Again, Spicy, if you make content where you purposely act like a two-year-old dog, you're gonna get people who don't really like it. And flamey hot monster. No reaction! You can take that no reaction and shove it up your ass. What the f*** is a flaming hot monster anyway? Flaming hot Doritos? What the f*** did this guy just eat? That did not sound like any Dorito I've seen in my life. Please can someone inform me which part of the dark web did this guy get that off? Green Takis? There is no way this guy's digestive system is healthy. If I did what this guy did, sure, I'd be rich as f but holy sh my digestive system would be screaming for all the pain to stop. Watch him challenge? I love black stuff. I'm sorry, what the f I like black stuff? What the f is that supposed to mean, spicy? Flamey on mac and cheese? Mm. Red's hot? Why the f*** did this guy just chug an entire bottle of hot sauce? I can understand this guy eating a spicy chip or eating Takis, but drinking hot sauce surely could literally kill you. Or at least set your stomach aside for at least three years. Yeah, And pepper plate! I'm sorry, what did this guy just eat? A f***ing pepper plane? There's no way this guy is human. As much as this guy's content is complete garbage and I wish it never existed, I do have to applaud this guy for being completely dedicated to the cause. He's been doing all this sort of stuff for years and he's still kicking along. He doesn't look like he's stopping anytime soon. John Red Takis? Habanero Gummy? What the f*** did this guy just eat? A gummy? How on earth can a gummy be spicy? I mean, I'm not sure, but I reckon anything's possible in the world of spicy. Giant blue taki? Oh, yeah. Oh, no! I'm sorry, what? There is no way this guy is human. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think there's much content on YouTube worse than this. Name a YouTube video still on YouTube right now that is more creepy than this one. <laughs> spicy ramen? Giant one chip challenge. Junga bunga. Junga fucking what? What did this guy just say? This is another thing about this guy's videos that I just do not understand in the slightest. Why does he say the most random sh imaginable? Spicy, please let me know what Junga bunga is. Because I have no idea. Nice one, buddy. Now your teeth are all green. I think as well as this actual guy's health surely having to be completely depleted because of these videos, I think something needs to be said about this guy's dentist. This guy would have to pay a million dollars a year to his dentist to keep his dental health remotely in check. The amount of strain that eating all this shit would put on this guy's teeth would actually be unbearable to me. Again, I literally have no idea how he's keeping up with all this. Spiciest chicken wing. Red's hot. Oh, ghost pepper mustard. Pain hot sauce. I don't want to put too much. <laughs> Get it, guys? He said he doesn't want to put too much on. Then, like a fucking idiot, he poured the entire bottle on. I think people make the exact same point about Nikocado Avocado. But is ruining your health and putting yourself through all this pain really worth the YouTube views, bro? I get it. This guy has 4 million subscribers and he pulls 2 million views per YouTube short. But this is just like the Nikocado Avocado situation. Eventually, your health is going to catch up to you and you aren't going to be able to sustain this type of content forever. Eventually, something is going to give. Carolina Reaper hot sauce? Carolina Reaper powder? Oh no! And Reaper Ranch! <laughs> This guy's gonna have a heart attack. Holy shit, I think I've said it already, but if this was me, I'd be on my deathbed. This video that you're seeing on screen right now is handpicked by YouTube just for you. So if you want a video just like this one, it's right in front of you. 